another season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets in the way here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth, but Haas still hopeful that the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. You did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kasper. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. Shouldn't have to. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not morning where Daddy is, right? Mummy says you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> That's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall off? Uh, Mommy can explain that. Uh, can I speak to her? Don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Hey, qualifying not so good, huh? Uh, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now. It's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Something's not right. Understood, Casper, we're on it. It's the gearbox. I lost the gear. Push on, Casper, we're assessing. Just push on best you can. I'll try. Okay, bad news on the gearbox. The team are trying everything they can think of, but they're not optimistic. Um, just keep at it, do your best, that's all we can ask. Catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tyres need to last till the end of the race. There's five laps of fuel remaining. gap behind is 1.9 seconds. Nice move. Gap to car in front is 2.0 seconds.
There's three laps of fuel remaining. Okay, you're in the top 10. The car ahead is 8.2 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Well, what's happened there to Kasper Ackerman? Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating, Ant. Yeah, looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Well, this isn't the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team.
Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. So, not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? Well, it was clearly an issue with the gearbox. Not a great place to be as a driver, but we'll work on it, I'm sure. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? Well, it's almost impossible. You have the race going on around you, and all you want to do is compete. Your adrenaline is up, but there's nothing you can do about it. What else can I say? While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aidan? That was last season. It's no secret that Aiden and I had a few run-ins. But that's a risk when you put two drivers together for the first time. I don't like to look back, only forward. I'm sure he's learned a lot and we'll see what happens this season. Thank you for your time.